Monday.com Daily Planner Tutorial How to use Monday.com to plan your day Hey guys, welcome back In this video, I'll show you guys how you can get started with building your platform or your day on Monday.com You can easily categorize all of your work within Monday.com and you're going to be able to easily manage your time and work effectively with Monday.com and I'll show you guys exactly how you can do that so I have logged on to my monday.com account over here and I can get started on my main workspace. So this is my main workspace and I have my basic profile. So I'm going to change the colors a bit and I'm going to change the cover photo over here as well. I'm going to make this like a simple, simple color, maybe like this. And then I'm going to rename my workspace. So this is going to be your home workspace. You can create a segregated workspace for different types of projects you might be working on. However, we're looking to build a daily planner. So I'm going to be uh, adding this as my daily plans like this. And this is the name of my workspace now. Now within a workspace, I can add my description. So this could be my day to day planned in one like this and then the members in this is just going to be myself and then from here we can start adding board boards so within your boards you can have multiple different types of tasks that you can add and segregations now for a daily planner i like to keep a board that is going to hold all of my weekly tasks and then i can have some ultimate monthly tasks as well so you can get started by clicking on add from templates and you have multiple different types of templates that are available so if you go into the template section over here you have a daily work scheduling template however this is very work oriented so if you want something a bit simpler and you want to maybe keep something like your personal life as well then you can build this and build a separate board for your personal life so we're going to start by building our board from scratch so i'm going to click on start from scratch and this is just going to set up a simple empty board and this is going to be called our start from scratch board within our daily plans now from here i'm going to rename my board and i'm just going to rename it to the daily tasks so let's say it's going to be daily schedule like this and now once i have built my board i can get started with adding multiple different types of groups within each group i will have multiple items so you can choose how you want to categorize your groups now within my groups i like to get started with maybe something like my time blocking so that is optional some people don't like time blocking their day however i do find it to be pretty helpful now i like to do this primarily with a kanban view so i'm going to click on this plus icon over here and then click on kanban now once this kanban view is added i just like to rename this in to time blocking and then once I've added this, I am going to get started with renaming these sections. So you guys can see we have three different sections over here. So I can click on this over here and you have your card columns, you have the status and these are categorized by status. So what I'm going to do is I can go into time blocking and then I can choose a different choice for me to get started with for the status of my items. Now I'm going to go into the main table and we're going to add our first section which is going to be 9 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. and then I can add all of my tasks. Now the alternate way to do this is to maybe write down things separately and then have those categorized based on the time and then have that in your time blocking. So I'll show you guys exactly what I mean. So if I add this as tasks and then the second group would be meetings and then the third group I'm going to add as the third group is going to be classes. Then let's say in my tasks, I'm going to delete some of the extra ones. But after that, I'm just going to add an item called, let's say I have to take out the trash like this. And then in my meeting section, or just do household chores, household chores like this. And then in my meetings, I have to meet with, meet with Mr. A like this. And then I'm just going to delete the extra tasks. And then we have our classes. So bio class. And then let's say we have another item. And that might be 
advanced math. So after I have added my different categories of the tasks that I do in my daily schedule, you can have multiple different types of tasks. You can just categorize your day, how many things you are doing. So it might be household things, personal things, classes, work, and meetings. So you have those five major things. Maybe you have a new group called entertainment. So things you do for your leisure. Then you can go into the time blocking section and you will see over here, you have the Kanban column that is being used. Now, all of these tasks do not have a separate a status attached to them. So that's why it's going to show up like this. So what I like to do is I'm going to sh not show the battery and we're going to go ahead and add a, a, add a timeline view over here. So you can go on ahead and go into your calendar or table view and you can upgrade to get that and then you can view these based on the time you're meant to complete that or you can just create your statuses into uh, time so time required like this and then i like to edit the labels and then i will add one r two r three r's like this and then you can just add the time accordingly so for one hour i want to do household chores for three hours i have a meeting with mr a and then my bio class is two hours and my advanced math class is one hour now if i go into the time blocking section over here this will actually help me in taking a look at all of my tasks depending on how much time i have to dedicate to them now with that you can go back into your main table and you can go into the date section over here and you can add the date you're meant to complete this Plus, if you have more information about your tasks, you can click on the plus icon and you can go on ahead and add more detailed information. So if you want to connect any files, priorities, labels, a timeline, then you can also insert that. So if I have a timeline for this, so let's say that my household chores need to be done on the 20th and then you can, you know, set your dates for, you know, a particular time like this. So let's say I want to finish my household chores within this time like that. And then you can set multiple different dates for a singular task. Now, this is just one way to build your daily planner with Monday. There are many other ways and I'll show you guys the template that we have for work and how we can customize that into building our daily schedule. So I'm going to go ahead, click on new board over here. We're going to add daily tasks like this, and we're just going to create a new board and we're going to be using a template for this. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually go ahead and we are going to create and then choose from templates. And then you're going to search for daily work and then you have your daily work schedule template and i'm just going to open this up to show you guys how you can get started with editing a template so you guys can see we have this based on individual days so this is our entire section that is dedicated to time blocking now this is one way to build your daily schedule this can be super helpful if you're planning your day and each day is different than the other then time blocking each individual day can be helpful in making sure that your tasks are achieved so you guys can see tasks have been added in the forms of labels as well as you know achieved or not and then the hours that are required reasons as well and then you have each individual time blocked so you have 9 a.m. to 10 a.m., then you have 10 a.m. to 11 a.m., so on and so forth. Now, this can be a great way for you to be able to manage individual tasks and make sure you are micromanaging your day to day. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with building your daily planner on monday.com. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.